welcome back you guys to a dreamer and sons i mean poor man's speed shop whoo today i'm gonna work on the 1963 barracuda i mean 1960 oh not 1960 1972 plymouth duster i mean 1973 i mean 1973 dodge dart we're gonna wire this baby in there this is a clicky clack fuel pump. Notice I got my stylish gloves on. I haven't been to the doctors in the past couple of days. It's still some blue gloves. So, and I use them awful lot for like wiring on these cars. I know that can be a dirty mess with like cat piss and shit and all the mouse piss in them. That's a dirty job. But I need electrical. I need gloves just to do electrical work. When I just so happen to do electrical work the wrong way. Now let's walk over top with this car here. Because if we can't fuck it up, then it ain't Dreamer and Son's Garage. Where we don't save them, we kill them. Look right here. Plot the hood. Now this car is a slant sit. Oh shit, this is my V8 car. Oh fuck me. Now, I'm gonna plop this right here. Now I know these are push pumps, not pull pumps. But we're gonna put it right here. Then, then we're going to wire it all in with another toggle switch, just like we always do. And some of you might be asking yourself, well, you have a mechanical fuel pump right there on this car. Why not just use it? Well, see, we're gonna make these two systems work against themselves. Well, not really, but we're gonna put this back there because I'm too damn lazy and stupid to replace a fuel pump. You understand that? Like, I am a genius. I still blew doctor's gloves. That's how fucking cool and badass I am. I did steal from my mom. However, we just won't talk about that. Anyways, we're gonna mount this right here. And then, I'm gonna run a gas hose down right here to two separate gas cans we can't just make one gas put one gas on one tank can into another can we're going to use two that's extra horsepower remember that just like adding this pump that's 75 horsepower you guys know this is a drag car this is not a street car it's not like it's got full interior in it hence why i put toggle switches and everything because everything's a drag car a race car i like to channel my inner del hart jr to channel him you know he would be my best friend he would be proud of me for using a toggle switch in a street car. He would just, oh, I want to marry him so much. I miss him so much. Now, again, this engine right here was built by Fat Man Restorations in beautiful Fort Wayne, Ohio. Like the rest of our cars, we don't have one engine that was that I built. We don't have one. It's always everybody else doing work. Now, you see this other brought car up here? Yeah, that looks like brand new. That's brand new off eBay. But then when we bought it, we had to send it to Fat Man's Restorations again to have the carburetor rebuilt because I don't know how to rebuild a carburetor. And you see that? That's an HEI. Because I had to put HEI in the stack. I couldn't make the points work at all. I tried new modules on it, new resistors, new ballasts, new everything. Couldn't make this thing work. So my boy went and bought me an HEI for it. And I'll show you guys how he wired that up thermostat i had my buddies put in because i know it's two bolts and i could easily do that myself but piss posh i just didn't work out and then say i'm broke and poor and i can't afford things when i know that poor people would do the work themselves if they were capable of it but i'm not capable of it you guys i mean look at my wiring job oh wait this is better than his wiring job so never mind scratch that i mean you want this wire here even when this car is done, you want this wire? Now, I know this piler is my MSD box there. But you want this. You want your, your whole electrical system to when you unplug this off the battery, your car to stay running. That's the goal. Or you want it to where you have to run out every time and unplug that. That way you look in your car's parking lot and you look like a fucking idiot. What? What do you guys think? Clicky clack for the rest of you? Hmm. We're not using them how they're supposed to be used. Now, I know you guys are thinking, why not replace that fuel pump? I've said it a million times. I know you. I'm too fucking lazy and stupid to do it. 
see, I know there's two bolts there. Let's see, they're Allens, and they, they go here and here, and it, it's just too much fucking work. We're just gonna, I had this on a 1973 Ford truck out in the field back there, back there, in the dreams. So I went up there and I plopped this bitch off there. And now we're gonna put that bitch on here. Remember, we like to rob Peter to pay Paul here. And let's not do it right. Let's not fix one vehicle and get it right. Let's rob Peter to pay Paul. And then I was watching, I was watching Christine the other night, you guys, on my son's Hulu, because I can't afford Hulu. I have to borrow my son's. And uh I noticed they were calling everybody shitters. So from now on, Mr. Robbie's going to call them shitters. You know, I'm going to steal that one too. Just like I stole sparkulators and all that stuff from other YouTubers. Because I'm not smart enough to come up with it on my own. Now let's walk over here. Walk to the inside. <laughs> now you see this? Oh, you may be thinking, what the hell is that taco switch doing there? That push button in there. See, this is what you got to do. See, you're going to... This turns on your fuel pump the whole time you're driving. This actually operates your, you're going to operate the fuel pump and the HEI in this car. See, when you're driving, you just hold it like that. Now, I know there's an ignition switch there and there's 12 volts on your fuse panel. Why, why wire it right? I mean, I get it's going to be my daily driver. It's going to be full interior, you know, nice. But I'm going to say that race cars do it. When race cars don't have full interiors, they do this for a reason to save weight, which I know because I'm an expert. But my argument means nothing because these aren't race cars. These aren't stripped bare bones cars. So, huh, that's gonna be nice, guys. La, 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 la. Maybe we can T bone this one into the monster over there. And, uh, yeah. Again, I bought this car back in 1965. The original. I know the old lady used to do fire runs in it for five stacks. Now, I know, I know, every car I bought for five stacks or my boys bought for me. Bought this for five stacks. I've been chasing the fuck 50 years. See, I was chasing this car back when I was two. Now, I know it's 73 and they didn't make 73s when I was born, but I, just, I could see the future. I was a Terminator. I could go into the future. And it just so happens this car stayed around the area for 40 years. You know, never went to a scrapyard. You know them damn meth heads that I'm always trading with, junk and shit. But I look like a fucking Herbert the Pervert. But I'm going to get off here, you guys. Go play some PlayStation with some 13-year-old kids. Going to go rob a disabled, disabled person or my mom again. Even though I can't. I wish she was here. She'd be giving me money. But, as you guys see, remember, don't wire things right. Toggle switches are a way to go. Because even if they're going to daily drive something, say it's a race car. And that makes your point there. Now, I could have wired that into a fuse panel, but I don't know how to wire that into a fuse panel. So, why would I? That's too much work. That means I have to get a multimeter, a test light, and lay on my, my crippled old back. <laughs> I can barely move or breathe and get anything to wire it right. Now I'm going to put on the door, you guys, the turd burglar, because I'm going to sit here and I burgle turds. Then on the back, I'm going to spray paint and spray paint. We'll never see road again, as long as I own it. That's going to be a lot right there, but that's going to look cool. Then I'm going to take a pink spray paint. I'm going to do a whole stripe around here. Let's go come over here and it's gonna have a heart and a toggle switch in the middle and then the heart's gonna crack because I crack every time Austin and Jack mention toggle switches because they know how to do things right and I don't. Then I'm gonna put all these stickers on it because these stickers have 10 horsepower. Now, remember, do not wire to a 12 horse horse. I can't stress that enough, you guys. Don't be a shitter. It's cool for me to mock everybody and make fun of everybody with my Mr. Obvious. But once I start doing it to me, I'm a victim and I don't like it. But remember, it's okay for me. I mean, I'm a giant fucking hypocrite. I literally, literally could put everybody else's channel, everybody else's thing, get shitty with people. But people aren't allowed to mess with me. 
Now they're picking on me and I'm a victim. Even though I brought it on myself. Don't mess with me. I'm sorry. But I'm not really sorry. I need a fake apology, okay? I'm a 61 year old man, baby. It's all fine and dandy when I was doing it, but don't do it to me. Don't forget to go check out the two loves of my life, Mako, great reaction channel. They do awesome, and I love them, guys. Them Boston boys, woohoo! I would love to come up here and see them for a little bit. And then Jack and Austin, or at Poor Man's Speed Shop. Now they're just right across the right across the state line in lovely Indiana. I may, I may have to go down there and just tell them how much I love them and how much I really, really, really love them. I lay awake in my shitty ass house in my lazy boy, looking up at the ceiling, thinking of ways that I can mention them and talk tough on, on Facebook Live, but I won't come back with anything else. The best I could come back with is this is a race car. It's supposed to have toggle switches. Even though it's not a race car and it has full interior and it's a street car. That's the best I can come up with. Because I'm an idiot. I can't, I'm not smart enough to think of anything about my own. Hence my grinds my gears, which was Peter Griffin that I stole. Shitters, I stole from Christine, the movie. Uh, Mr. Obvious, I stole from another TV show. I can't come up with anything on my own. Sparkulators, I stole. I'm not stealing. I mean, I remember Marco stole my videos, but I still, I stole people's sayings. See you guys next time here on Dreamer and Poop's Garage, where maybe, just maybe, I won't be a lazy fat ass and I'll, and I'll change that fuel pump and do things right instead of rigging up a, a pump, electric pump. Even though that's gonna take more work to wire in. And that will. But I'm too lazy and fucking fat and stupid to do it. So, see you guys next time here on Poor Man's Speed Shop. Don't forget to subscribe and like, comment, and check out our buddies over at Mako's channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry. Instead of blowing my nose, I like to suck it through my mouth and then spit it out. Because I'm a nasty motherfucker. Bye-bye. Winning! <laughs> In your face, Dick Tracy. It's a saying from 1972. I don't know who the fuck still says that. but. And next time I'll have my stolen blue doctor gloves. I got an appointment tomorrow.